Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be doing a quick daily routine reset type of video today. I'm just gonna be cleaning up and tidying up my kitchen. I'm gonna take you along the ride. It's gonna be a short video today, but I truly hope that you enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section, how was your holiday season? This video is coming a little bit late because I got super, super sick. I had to push this out and just get myself some much re needed rest. I hope you guys are getting the rest that you need so that you are just ready for the new year. So this is right before I actually decorated for Christmas. So like I said, the video is a little bit late, but better late than never, right? Um, so in that little corner, I ended up actually putting up my hot chocolate station in this area my next video i'm actually going to show you what that looks like so look out for the next video okay <laughs> i noticed that i'm always cooking in these videos i always have something going on besides just cleaning and this is just real life we have to multitask so when i'm doing this reset sometimes just have a little something something you know either on the stove or in my rice cooker or something like that so you may see that often in my videos and i also want to thank those of you guys who are enjoying this con content who are actually commenting it means the world to me because a lot of times when you make these videos you don't know if somebody's watching it if they're enjoying it but when you tell me you enjoy it, it really, really makes my day. So in the comment section today, I want you to tell me what do you actually enjoy in the video so that in the next year, I can bring you more of that. So one thing that I've tried to continue to do when I'm cleaning is to make sure that when I spray down my counters, I leave it for a little bit before I actually clean it. Again, this just gives those products time to work on your counter. So although you may not see the points at which I kind of leave it for a little bit to sit there, I do try to do that. And then I just edit that out of the video just to make the video flow a little bit better. Does anyone else absolutely hate washing dishes <laughs> that is my least favorite thing to do in the kitchen but hey we gotta do what we gotta do right something else that i'm testing out in these videos are the music if you enjoy the music let me know and if there's certain types of music that you prefer let me know in the comment section below and i will try my best to bring you something that you enjoy With the new year coming up, I've been thinking a lot about my goals and one of the things that I want to do this year, especially in my home, is to just reset. I'm going to be doing a decluttering series, so if you're interested in that, definitely make sure you follow along, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I really do want to reset my house and just find little tips and tricks to just get things in order. And if you're interested in that, I actually have a blog post up on my website liquidgrace.com where you can find 20 ways to reset your home in this new year so if that sounds like something you want to also do you want to reset your home you want to find out just little tips and tricks that you can do to just improve the way you feel at home reduce your anxiety and things like that then let me know and i will make sure that i link the article below this video One of the tips that I actually shared in the blog post is something I call snackable decluttering, which is when you just take the time to break up those large decluttering um, opportunities into smaller ones. An example of that is instead of decluttering your whole kitchen and getting overwhelmed all at once, you can just declutter just one cabinet. And trust me, you are going to feel so proud of yourself and you will feel motivated to just tackle things heads on. You may see a lot of it in this video, but I do multitask a little bit 
And that just means making sure dinner is on the stove while I'm cleaning. Again, this is just like a small little thing that will just ease you a little bit. There is ways to multitask in a way that actually makes sense. If you also need a cleaning schedule, I have one of those as well on my channel. So don't be shy. Make sure you download it. I have a cleaning checklist that is absolutely free. So if 2024 is the year that you really just want to tackle like cleaning your home and just being on top of that as a busy mom, because I totally understand that you have other goals besides keeping your house clean, then definitely check out the schedule and check out the checklist. And again, it's absolutely free. Am I the only one who gets excited when I clean my sink? <laughs> just tackling that just always makes me feel like, okay, I am one step closer to the cleaning kitchen. So this little corner right here, um, this is again before I started decorating for Christmas. So I have a lot of things in the back corner of the table. I'm not going to move it away in this video because again, those are the containers, the houses, everything that has to do with decorating for the holidays. And I also want to give a shout out to my sister, my brother-in-law for the gift on the table, the pot set. I was hiring it and they got it for us. So I'm so excited. Thank y'all. I picked up this little Angry Mama on Amazon. I haven't tried it yet, but it's for cleaning your microwave. I'm gonna let y'all know how that works, but I also picked up this fabric shaver. Oh my God, this was a game changer for our couch. I mean, our couch was looking so, so, so sad, and that just brought new life to it. I also got this cooling rack for baked goods, and also that mat, and that's for, um, when I do dishes just to have something to set them out on. Again, this is the light cleaning video. We are not over exerting ourselves. <laughs> this is the corner that I just put my daughter's toys. Um, so I'm just gonna organize it a little bit and just make it look approachable, make it look cute, even though it's probably gonna look crazy when she comes back downstairs. But hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. As usual, if you are enjoying this video so far, please make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Don't be shy. We are trying to grow this community in 2024. And this year, I just wanted to make sure that I got to 500 subscribers and we are right on the edge of it. So if you are enjoying this video and you have not subscribed, please make sure you do so. My daughter never lets my pillows just rest on the couch. She loves to throw them on the floor or put them in the back of the couch. Does your child do that as well? Because it drives me absolutely crazy. I've had to get used to it though because, you know, you just want to have that little cute aesthetic with the pillows. And she's like, no mom, I'm a kid and I'm going to throw everything on the ground. <laughs> and she does, she does just that. But hey... A house is to be lived there, right? This is when I know I'm close to the end of my cleaning. It's when I can just start vacuuming because, you know, one of the best tips is to clean from top down because, yeah, so you want to clean your counters, clean everything up top, and then clean your floors last. And once I get to this point, I just get so excited. I'm like, yes, I'm almost there. I did it. I did it.
So in order for you to have streak-free appliances, make sure that you're using the right type of cleaner that's going to add the right amount of shine. I've used this in several videos before and I've had this spray for a long time and it really just makes everything look really, really good. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video as usual, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.